Thanks for watching us. So we have a lot more news still coming up. I'm going to send it over to Lou Parker, Cody Grill, Liberty Chan. Uh, there's a storm of ruin, but there's a lot of powerful women here. Yes, there are. And Tammy producing. It's all good. Good morning. Thanks for doing that. We appreciate it. Here's some of the stories that we're working on. A winter storm moved in overnight with thunder, lightning, hail, and heavy rain seen across the region. It's a second round on the way. Liberty Chan is here. Well, we are not finished with all of that wet weather just yet. Right now, you take a look at Big Bear. It looks like uh, we're seeing a little bit of uh, snow upstairs. Uh, rain, snow still in the forecast details on that. Come here. With another possible holiday surge of coronavirus cases, California's stay-at-home order may soon be extended. And health experts are warning the darkest days of the pandemic could still be ahead of us. However, some economic relief will soon be on the way after President Trump signs a $900 billion pandemic relief package. We'll break down what is included. Welcome to the KTLA 5 Morning News at 11 a.m. I'm Lou Parker. Happy Monday. I'm Courtney Frail in today for Glenn Walker. The first winter storm of the season has brought much needed rainfall to Southern California, but that isn't the only thing this storm is bringing. Yeah, wet roads, snow, and thunderstorms have created dangerous driving conditions across the region. Some areas could even see minor debris flows in recent burn areas. We do have live team coverage of the storm's impact on Southern California with Liberty Chan standing by. But first, we want to get out to Cape Lake Park, Sarah Welch, live in Woodland Hills, with a look at the conditions happening there. Hi, Sarah. Hi, guys. Good evening, uh, or good morning, rather. Uh, great skies here right now, and you can see a few sprinkles after a long evening of rain and heavy snow in some parts. 